In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the no signal error on your external monitor. So if you have a first or a second monitor attached to your computer and you're getting this no signal message, then there's actually a couple of things we can do to go and fix this. Now, the very first thing is obviously you just want to make sure that your monitor is connected correctly to your computer. So essentially, you should have two different cables. You should have a power cable that runs from the monitor to the main power supply, and you should also have a cable that runs from your laptop or computer to the monitor itself. Now typically this is going to be either a HDMI cable or a display cable and you need to plug one end into your monitor and the other end into your computer. If it's not working, then you can try using another port on your computer. And if you have multiple ports on your monitor, you can also try that as well. Now, the next thing you need to do is ensure that your source on your monitor is set to the right input. Now, on the monitor itself, you should have some physical buttons that you can go and press. And this is how you control the different input modes on your monitor. So this is going to vary slightly depending on your model of monitor. So what you can try doing is flicking between the different buttons to find which one the input mode is. So you can see that on my monitor, I'm connected to HDMI 2, and that's because I have my cable plugged into HDMI 2 on my computer. But you can essentially just flick through the different input modes and make sure you're connected to the correct one. Now, the final solution, if it's still not working, is you want to go and update your graphic card drivers. So to do this, open up the start menu on your computer, go and search for device manager and click on this window. Click on the drop down arrow next to display adapters, and then you should see your graphic cards in this list. Now I've got two but maybe you just have one on your computer and what you need to do is right click on each of these, click on update driver, press search automatically for drivers and then you can close out of this window. Now if you have two graphics cards just make sure to do this for both. Now if that's still not working then right click again, click on update driver and then press browse my computer for drivers, select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and you can basically try these two different options so I'm going to start with the top one and then just press next. And now if that doesn't work, you can always try the second one in this list. So for me, that's going to be the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. And you can check to see if that one solves the issue. Now, if it's still not working, the final solution is to go and open up an internet browser. And we're just going to manually update your graphic card drivers. And you can do this by typing in the brand of your graphics card. So for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So I'm going to type in NVIDIA and then just type in NVIDIA driver download and press enter. Obviously, you'll need to replace NVIDIA if you're using a different card and then click on the official website for your graphics card. Then I'm just going to click on this green button here to install the automatic driver updates. You can then go and download the official NVIDIA app onto your computer. Once you've downloaded this, you can simply open up the NVIDIA app, which is this one here. You can then click on drivers in the left hand side and you can go and download and install the latest NVIDIA drivers. So that's how you fix the no signal error on your Windows computer. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.